So the other day, I get a knock on my door, and FedEx is outside. Which I found a bit odd, because I didn't order anything that was coming via FedEx. So, uh, and, and I try to avoid FedEx for a variety of reasons um, when it comes to shipping. They, in my experience, <laughs> FedEx just is, is not the place to go. So it was, it was a little bit different uh, to see them outside. So I go outside and the lady opens the, the back of her rental truck and amongst all of the, the clutter and, and just shit falling, having fallen down, um, as she was digging through the back of the truck, uh, she rolls out a tire. And, uh, I was, I, I, I was at a loss for words. Uh, and then another tire. Well, I didn't order any tires, but they had my name on them. Two tires. Two tires. Uh, but they had my name on them. So, uh, I said thank you, I signed for them, and, and that was that. Well, it turns out, a very good friend of mine, my best friend, had watched my last video, and he was embarrassed about my 0-60 to 60 time. He figured that if 4.9 was the best that I could muster, in order to avoid being shamed himself for being my friend, he took it as, as a call to action to upgrade my rear tires to 275s. So I'm headed now to the tire shop to get the 275s mounted. They are Federal Evolution ST1s, which have a wear rating of 300. So definitely a stickier rubber. Obviously, the 275 is uh, like an inch and a quarter wider than the 245s that are on the back. I have the um, <clears throat> Iron Man iMove Gen 2s, which I think have a wear rating of like 480, 520, somewhere around in there, with a less aggressive uh, tread pattern. So I had planned on replacing these anyways, and uh, well, here we are. So, expect uh, my input on these tires. They were not on my list, but after, after looking at them and doing a little bit of reading, and there's not really a whole bunch out there on them, uh, I, think, I think this could be pretty awesome. I think, it, I think these two tires could be, uh, could be something that once I wear out, could be uh, going back on. So definitely looking forward to giving them a try. And uh, I also look forward to improving that zero to 60 time so that I'm not bringing shame on my friends and family as well as myself. But then again, I do tend to bring shame upon myself quite often. So that's where we're headed now. Going to get these tires mounted and balanced and installed and I'll probably stop the video and just edit in my first impressions. Now, if you look at the date, you'll notice that we are in November, end of November, almost Thanksgiving, and I'm about to install a summer tire. Well, fortunately, I live in Louisiana, South Louisiana, and we really don't get much in the way of winter. So the few times that we do have uh, bad weather, I'll just, uh, I'll just be a little bit more careful. And we'll get a chance to check out the rain capabilities, being that we are in Louisiana. So that's where we're at, and uh, I should be back here shortly with, uh, with the new tires installed. And we'll get this thing on the road. All right. So the rubber has met the road. We're, we've had a couple days to drive around 
and put some miles on the Federal Evolution ST1s. And uh, so what are my thoughts? What, uh, so far is it a thumbs up? Is it a thumbs down? Are they okay? Have I improved the zero to 60 time and gotten rid of some of the shame upon my friends and family? Well, let's start out with the design. Really love the tread pattern. The, the big meaty tread uh, blocks. Really excellent design. Love the way that the tire squares up on the wheel better instead of rounding off like the 245s. This is just a meaner looking tire. And if you follow me on Instagram, which will be linked down below, XI Tuning, you will see some pictures of it. It does look quite a bit better. But uh, what, you know, the part that really matters is, is this a good tire? Is this something that I will run again or that I would recommend? So here it is. Did I improve my zero to 60 time? Yes, I did improve my zero to 60 time. Is there more grip with this tire than the Iron Man iMove 2s? Yes, yes there is. It doesn't scream at the limit of adhesion like a cheaper tire does, which has always been a signifier of a better grade of tire. Um, you know, if if your tire is squealing and squalling at the uh, at the limits, then it's a cheap tire. Normally, your nicer, your better tires, they they either hum or they growl before they start to give things up. So that was just you know that's just something to take note of. So what about it though? How much better are they? Um, I'd say quite a bit. There is noticeably more grip. Is it a full-on race tire? No, no it is not. So that being said, you still have to watch it when you launch a car like this. And my old best zero to 60 time was 4.9 seconds. So far I have managed 4.7 seconds. But that is not to say that it's easy. Um, I am still very excited about these tires. However, the one time that I managed the 4.7, it was 40 degrees out. The pavement was cold. Um, so to see that my best time so far has been with cold pavement is definitely interesting. And I have noticed in subsequent tests that the tire does heat up and you do start to lose some of the adhesion quicker. Um, so, so there is that. In my other test of what would be considered more um, friendly temperatures for this sort of thing, like 70 degrees, I'm still managing about five seconds. But I don't have to launch in second gear in order to get decent traction. So there is an improvement. Um, there is definitely an improvement. Do I like these tires? I do like these tires. Would I recommend these tires? I would definitely recommend these tires so far. Obviously, I still need to put some miles on them. Uh, I need to adjust the tire pressure. The pressure is a bit high. I, I could probably drop it down a few pounds, especially if I'm going to be going for better zero to 60 performance. So, that being said, Yes, I have removed some of the shame from my name by 4.7 seconds. Two tenths of a second off. I can live with that. There will be more updates on these tires. You can check them out. 
you know, check out the pictures of them and pictures of the car on Instagram. Until then, uh, you know, we'll catch you later. Um, huge shout out to my friend. These tires are awesome, and in no way, shape, or form am I saying that I would second guess these tires. I think that I think they're awesome. They are definitely awesome for the money. They are exactly what this car needs to take it up to the next level and uh, I'm excited to keep running them I'm excited to knock out like a 4.5 I'm gonna I am going to and I say this now I'm going to hit 4.5 seconds on these tires I'm gonna find a way it's gonna happen and uh, you know no more shame no more shame until next time We'll catch you later.